What up, everybody? Welcome to Pass Interference, your casual fan commentary for all your sports needs. I'm RJ Bam. I'm here with Alex Leffler. And uh, holy shit, there's so much that's happened in a week. I don't even know how to get through it all. I don't know if we should talk about it in like little... I, I don't know if we should cover everything in little tiny segments or if we should just, just cover the big shit in big segments. You big want to talk about what happened last week first? Yeah, let's just start with that. How'd you, uh, how'd you do last week? Um, terrible. Really? Are yeah, you are you yeah. 0 and two? Uh, no, I'm one and one. Yeah, I too. won, okay. but uh, there's this man that I finally dropped today. Are you oh, okay? Turbisky. Oh, finally. Is Let him go. trash. Yeah. Straight garbage. <clears throat> yeah, I yep. Yeah. We agreed with that uh, week one. Yeah, he threw for 120 yards last week. I was like, oh yeah, cool. Zero um, zero TDs though, right? Yeah. Yeah. That dude, the Bears. The Bears' defense is going to win them the games. It's, it's, the it's, only thing it's Rex play. Grossman and the Bears' defense from when Rex Grossman went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Brian Erlacher, Lance Briggs. Um, the defense has to win. They can't run the ball. They have receiving backs, but they have a quarterback that can't pass the ball. Uh, yeah, 100%. So, uh, yeah, I dropped him and I picked up Daniel Jones. Uh, I, was, I was wondering if anyone was going to pick up D. Jones. Because um, I was wondering if anyone was going to pick up like Roethlisberger's backup or if anybody was going to pick up Daniel Jones or if anybody was going to pick up like um, whoever else. Yeah. Whoever else that came out. But, uh, but yeah. How do you think he's going to do this week? Um, it'll be mid-level. Mid-level. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think he's going to do wonderful. Uh, yeah. He's probably going to struggle. Um, I did like what I saw in the preseason, though. Yeah, yeah, that's not, yeah. We were talking about that last week. I, they did a good job of like building them up through the preseason. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think. <laughs> I think they were just like, we just can't let Eli play anymore. Yeah. We just he, we just can't let this go on. Yeah. Um, so they. It was a little. It's a little earlier than I would like for him to just start, but I I get them just being like, yo, we can't do this. <laughs> Uh, quarterbacks. I mean, a lot of quarterback stuff has happened. In the last yeah, that's week. that's kind um, of been the biggest thing over the last. Ben week. Roethlisberger out for the year. Drew Brees got hurt. Yeah. Um, Daniel Jones taking over. Yeah. Gardner Minshew, the legend. The the next Peyton or the next uh, Tom Brady possibly? <laughs> huh. Um, QB stuff is crazy. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else. There's um, uh, Josh Rosen starting for Miami. Yeah, Josh Rosen took over. Um, um, Cam Newton is not yeah, playing Cam this Newton's week. Out. Like just a bunch of quarterback stuff happening around the league. Yeah. Um, Sam Darnold's out. Leg it's injury. Still out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of who else. I think that's I think that's everybody. But yeah, there's a lot of. Um, Carson Wentz uh, lost a lot of weapons last week. Yeah, 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 yeah. They lost My guy. To, they, yeah, they lost to the Falcons. That's right? the reason that uh, I lost the game is because Alshon Jeffrey left the game with a calf injury. But Deshaun Jackson and left Deshaun the game. Ja- yeah. And him too. I barely so, won because of that. The uh, and that was uh, against Danny. Mm-hmm. And so like I so I've been in this league since 2011. So I played Danny. Um, I think f- about 14 times because like if you if you play somebody in the first three weeks you're gonna play him twice. Yeah. Um, so I played him I think about 14 times. And every time it comes down to the wire, like the last, very last game, and he's beaten me like 10 out of 14 times because of like something like, like one of my players goes out or like he beats me at the last second. Yeah. And so I'm like... Off of like a field goal. Yeah. And, and, then, and, and then I had, I had, uh, and then so Alshon Jeffrey didn't play. I got zero points from him. And I was up before that game. I was up by like 15 points. And then, um, and then on my bench, I had um, Chalk. DJ uh, Shark or whatever. Shark, yeah. yeah. And then from the... from Because I was like, oh, he did good week one. He got like 25 points. Week two, I was like, how is, is that really going to continue? Do I really did. believe in Gardner Minshew? And then he got another 20 points. And then I was like, okay, <laughs> are you starting? Are you starting now? You played and, good again. And, then I, and so I put him in for week three and he got me like 18 points. And I'm yeah. like, okay, I believe. <laughs> I believe in Minshew. Yeah. That's his favorite target. Yeah. Yeah. So He's gotten like a touchdown every game now, so... Yeah. Uh, I believe. So, Gardner Minshew. Sixth, Sixth round, round pick? draft pick. Yeah. 199th pick. Oh, huh, weird. 
I think there was another guy that was kind of in that same area. Yeah. Um, kind of had a similar start. He's got a little swag to him. I like that. Yeah. He's uh, rocking jorts when he goes back to his college games. Uh, there was another guy named Tom Brady that kind of was in that same position playing with a chip on his shoulder. So the only difference is Tom Brady had to sit behind uh, Drew Bledsoe. Bledsoe for a few years. Hey, man. Minshew's sitting behind the other legend, Nick Foles. Yeah, Big Dick Nick. Yeah. Who, uh, God, that clavicle. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even want to think about that. Yeah. I don't want to watch it. Yeah. But, uh, dude, he's balling out. Yeah. Dude, he's his, ball- his completion percentage is super high, too. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, you think they trade Jalen? They said they didn't want to. Is Jalen going to be happy, or is he... He's still going to play. Like, I think Jalen Smith... Yeah, he's, he's not going to not play. Yeah, Jalen Smith is one of those guys that... Are, Ramsey? No, Jalen Ramsey. Um, no, yeah, Jalen Smith is great. <laughs> Cowboys. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't... He's one of those players that he's he's going to play no matter what. Um, but, yeah, he did. I I, he- I heard he wanted out, and then he released a thing saying he didn't want out. And so I was like, what? I was like, what? And then they released a thing... And the Jaguars said, oh, we're, if, if we were going to get rid of him, we would have already gotten rid of him. We're not getting rid of that guy. It would be a disaster for us. Yeah. So And I, and I was like, yeah, we, we would. There goes a great Just play man, more man coverage. Yeah. Because I think the reason why he's upset with the Jaguars is because they've been playing a lot of zone lately. They have, and every time they play zone, he's gotten burnt. Yeah. It makes him look bad, and he doesn't want that out there because he wants to get paid. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's not his own corner. He is a man He's corner. a man corner, and he's let a great him, man him, corner. Let him man up. Let him he's, be Revis. Has he gotten bigger? Like that? Because I don't remember him being that big, like, in his first two years. Like, I remember him he's being six skinnier. Two. He's 6'2". Two, but I believe but he's, he's bulky. He's yeah, bulky now. Yeah. I remember him being skinny in his first, like, He year. wasn't Greedy Williams skinny. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't, like, 160, but, like... Yeah. But I don't like. He looks like he's over two two hundred now. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he. But like, I remember him being like maybe like one eighty, one eighty five before. I don't remember him being this big. I thought he was like one ninety, one ninety five when yeah. he came in the league. He might be up to like two fifteen, but like it's all muscle. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely put on weight. I don't know if that slowed him down at all. Um, As a corner, I don't think you'd want to be get much bigger than would, what he yeah, is now. Because no, no. then you're gonna move. Like he eventually will probably move to safety. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. When it, I think he'll move to safety later in his career. Yeah. Um, just because he is going to slow down and he's not the fastest corner. As yeah. is, and back as there you can have better vision and just yeah. attack whatever. And, well, and he's a bigger build too. He's yeah. a decent tackler. Right. He can be like a cam uh, chancellor. Just go nah, smash people. I don't know about that. <laughs> Bam Bam Cam? Yeah. More like a little Ed Reed. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Way more. But, more way yeah, more like Ed Reed. Yeah. Um, yeah. How do you feel about... Jacksonville's chances right now. Out of everybody in Florida, they got the best shot, I think. I think they might go 8-8 eight and eight this year. It's going to really rely on the defense. Um, if Minshew continues to play this way, like yeah. they might have a winning record. Yeah. Um, but he is a rookie, so you want to just see consistency. Mm-hmm. I mean, consistency has been there for three games, but is it going to last? Yeah. Um, I hope so. Yeah, you know, usually for NFL quarterbacks that are like new, like first time you play them and they got something weird like Lamar Jackson and stuff like that. Take Lamar, for example. A lot of teams don't know how to defend him because it's the first time seeing him. Yeah. So they do something new every day. Well, now they're going to have tape on him and stuff like that. So the second time, if he's still beating you, it's going to be harder to stop. But like second time, usually defenses figure out what you like to do sure. and what you want to do. So yeah. the, usually the second time two through, they figure out what the game plan is and stuff. The biggest Even thing, though you have video of him playing against other teams, you just don't. You have to experience it yourself. Especially this year, since Lamar's game has improved so much and he's a completely different player now. Kind yeah. of. And so it's like, now it's like, it's like they're playing him for the first time again. Yeah. So they're like, they're like oh... They're oh, okay. Uh, running the ball every time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can't just stack the box or whatever? Yeah. Um, so he... Dude, I... Are the Ravens going to win the Super Bowl? No. You don't think so? Uh, it's going to be... I mean, in the AFC alone, you have the Chiefs and the Patriots, right? Everybody yeah. thinks they're on a destination to meet in the AFC of Championship. Course, every time, yeah. Um, the Ravens are good. The Chargers, 
I'm still on the fence about them. They have a good offense and a good defense. Yeah, I think um, they'll have a winning record. I don't know when Gordon's coming back. He said that he's coming back this year. If he doesn't get traded, he'll, he's going to suit up probably starting week 10, week 14, whatever he can. It's too late. Yeah. It's way too late. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> he, you know, he shows up and that's when... Yeah. That, that way that's when the it, season it, still counts so yeah. it doesn't affect... Because he is still under contract. I would like this for him to show up a little earlier, maybe like week 8. Yeah, I don't think he's going to play. Yeah. Even if he shows up... Um, I think their running back situation is okay unless Eckler gets hurt. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So the matchup this week is the big matchup this week is Ravens Chiefs. Yes. So we get to see the what shootout. Do you mean? It's, it's a Dolphins Cowboys game. Oh, no, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, that game, I'm thirty point blowout. I'm actually worried about it. You're worried about that game. I think it's a setup game. Where are they playing? In Miami? I think they're playing in Dallas. No. Go ahead. But the Chiefs... But Chiefs, yeah. Ra- uh, Chiefs, Chiefs, Ravens. Um, Tyreek is out. Probably for the season. Patrick Mahomes hasn't needed him yet. I mean, yeah. True. I don't think Sammy Watkins is just going to keep doing what he did in week one. You know? He didn't really have a good week two. Yeah, his week two was kind of quiet. Uh, Demarcus Robinson kid. Yeah. He was the one who had a buck 50. I think it's kind of what you're going to expect from the Chiefs this 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 year is like one player is just going to tear it up every week. Because there's going to be a mismatch on the field. Yeah. Yeah. So like one week it'll be Sammy, one week it'll be him, one week it'll be Travis. You know what I mean? Some, like I think one person is just going to find the mismatch and just kill it that week. Yeah. Um, and then you got Lamar on the other side just balling out. They both have... Great QB ratings right now. I think Lamar's got, what, nine TDs so far? Uh, no, him, Mahomes, and Dak all have seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did. Lamar only threw for two last week, but he did rush. He like rushed he, for one. Yeah, he? He, uh, he had he had like 125 yards rushing, 250 yeah. yards passing. Yeah. He's like, they said he was the first player to ever do it. Yeah. That's not true. Vic? In the regular season. No, Colin Kaepernick did it in the playoffs. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. How do you think that, how do you think that game's going to go? I think the Chiefs are going to win. Really? I think it... Wait, where are they playing? Baltimore? Are they? Uh, you think no, you think you think Mahomes is going to be able to keep that up against uh, the Ravens D? They're playing in Kansas City, so yeah. Kansas City should win the game. Yeah. Um, I don't think the Kansas City defense is the greatest. Yeah, I don't either. They have a couple people, but they got rid of a lot of people. Like Justin Houston, I think was on the Colts, and then uh, they lost the other dude too. Didn't the other dude go to the Seahawks? Who? Or no, no, no. The Chiefs got Frank Clark, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, I mean, and that Ravens D is kind of incredible. So, I don't know if how well Mahomes is going to be able to launch balls. Where's the mismatch? Where's the mismatch going to be? I'm not quite sure. I just think it's going to be a good game. It pro- um, I mean, it's definitely going to be a shootout. I mean, Mahomes is Mahomes. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's the, cheat, he's, the cheat, he's the cheat code. Yeah. He's the guy looking one way, throwing another across his body, still on a dime. Like, I don't know how he does uh, what he does. Other NFL players but the like, thing I is, don't like, know how he does this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got other, like, you got standard pocket passers, like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Um, but then Lamar kind of throws the same way. He's got that weird release. He has out. a weird release, which, uh, and, and like, did he play baseball? Two? I did, uh, he might have. Um... Because he almost throws like a baseball player. Yeah. Um, which, but I like I I don't have no idea how Mahomes is throwing sidearm spirals. Dude, he just whips it around. I, people. I don't. Yeah. He'll throw it that way, that way. Yeah, but like sta- like standard throwing the ball, you're you're flicking it back this way. And I don't know how he's doing how he's doing it with a sidearm. Yeah. He's completely doing it like, re- yeah. like reverse. Yeah, it's uh, he's something special. Yeah, yeah. It's that baseball background. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Him and Russell Wilson, right? 
Um, the, uh, God. The, so the three teams that I had written down that just, just look scary to me are Pats, Ravens, and Cowboys. And for some reason, I think the Cowboys are good. Right? And you don't, you, you're no, so, like, you're so I'm, reluctant I'm, I'm, no, 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 to like, say ca- anything good I'm, about I'm, the Cowboys. I'm a Cowboys fan. I know you like, are. They really haven't played anybody good right now. True. Like, they have a good roster, all right? They're beating the teams they're supposed to beat. They got a good defense. Yeah. They're beating the teams they're supposed to beat. Gallup is out the next two to four weeks. Oh, did he get injured? Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, hamstring, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Um, I don't... Like, a lot of other Cowboys fans are like, oh, Super Bowl, Super I'm not one of those. Can't I'm do re- that too early. I, I'm too a realist. Early like, yeah. I understand we haven't played anybody good, right? Yeah. Like, we've played the Giants, we've played the Redskins. The Redskins are, eh, but the Giants poop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yet you picked up their QB. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't, like, the Cowboys, they're beating the teams they're supposed to be. It's good. Yeah. If they pound the Dolphins like the other teams did, okay, that's just that standard. I think it's a trap game. And I think next week when we play New Orleans, it's that's another trap game. Are the guys preparing? Are the guys focused on just beating the shit out of them? Yeah, I mean Because because I've I've taken games off when I played football, I took games off, I was like, oh we're gonna kill these. You're gonna wash them and get washed. And then you barely win. Yeah. Um so you gotta beat the teams you're supposed to beat. And the Dolphins and the Saints without Drew Brees, we should beat those teams. Yeah. Yeah, that was because I was pumped up to see that Rams Chiefs or Rams Saints matchup from last year. Yeah. And, uh, and like the game started, and I was like, oh, is this just an all defensive game? It's like 3 3 going into half or whatever. And then all of a sudden, Drew Brees is just out. Yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, well, that kind of. Do you know how long that's going to be out for? Probably the season, right? He, he said, I think they said like six to eight weeks time frame. Yeah. It was clavicle for him, right? No, it was a torn ligament in his thumb. Oh, yeah. They, I think they said six to eight weeks. And on, I think Foles is is Foles out the whole year. I don't think he's coming back this year. And if he does, I don't think he'll have a starting job back. Yeah, and if yeah, pay him all that money, and he gets to be the backup again. Yeah, but hey, take the money, man. I I I'd gladly sit on the bench and just ride that shit out for the money that he's getting. Yeah, save that shit up. Um. And stay injury free. Roethlisberger's back. Did you watch that game? Seattle versus Steelers. No. What, when did when did Roethlisberger go out? It was like the th- first th- first quarter. No, no, no. The Steelers no. looked bad. I think he went out like the third quarter. Okay. Actually, I because like I was tr- I was actually trying to watch the Vikings. Um, My boy Dalvin Cook. I was trying to watch because they had that game on and then they had the um, Cowboys game on. So I was trying to watch those two games, and the Seattle game is behind me. So I'd like peek behind to check that every once in a while, and then all of a sudden I was like, "That's not Roethlisberger throwing the ball. What's going on?" And his backup actually did pretty good. Mason Rudolph. Yeah, Rudolph did pretty good for like the small um, is, little. Is he from he Minnesota? Is he the Minnesota quarterback? Mason Rudolph. I was just thinking of Kyle Rudolph because there's another Rudolph that was there. <laughs> <laughs> um. So let's talk about the Steelers for a little bit. Yeah. They traded for Minka Fitzpatrick. Yeah, they got him. Do you think that was a smart decision? They're giving up first round this first round pick this year. They okay, they're zero so and two. They are. They they lost their quarterback. Why are you trading a first round pick when it's probably going to land inside inside the top ten? Yeah. For Minka, unless you think you're going to not have a top ten pick, why would you trade that? Not only that, they also lost about forty million dollars between AB and and Roethlisberger at the beginning of the uh, year. And Bell or, or I'm. Um, Bell and Brown, right? Bell, or what, who did I just say? Roethlisberger uh, and Brown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so they lost, like, cap space ability at the beginning. And then... Dead money. And then now your quarterback's just out. So... It, I don't, it doesn't I think, I think well, I think Well, I think they're like, yo, if we're not going to do it on offense, we got to do it on defense. Who else is on their defense? They're I, not stopping anybody. I know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think I don't think it's the best move. Here's the thing: Roethlisberger's old, right? He is. He's a, he's yeah. contemplated retirement for a while now. Yeah. Why not? Your quarterback's out. Why are you trading your first round pick this year? Yeah. When you could have drafted a quarterback. Yeah. 
if you if you think Roethlisberger is going to retire, He's maybe play one more end. year. Yeah. Maybe. Now's now's the time to draft a quarterback because yeah. you want a new you want the new guy to come in and play behind somebody for like a year maybe half a year yeah something something yeah you don't want to just throw him to the wolves yeah um so yeah if they, I mean if if you if you have that first round draft pick that that's probably the way and if you look at who's coming in next year it's like have you looked at the quarterbacks that are coming that are going to come in in the next one to two years uh, you have okay look you got Jalen Hurts Oklahoma you got Tua Alabama. You have Trevor Lawrence from Clemson. You have Jake Fromm from Georgia. And you have um, a kid from Ohio State. I forget his name every fucking time. Um, Shields. Something Shields. But uh, five, like, four or five star recruits out of high school. They're both phenomenal. Like, all, and Trevor's probably not going to come in next year. He can if he wants to. Yeah. Tua doesn't have to. Jalen does. Um, and I think Jake Fromm does. And I think out of the five there, I, I personally like Jake Fromm the best. Um, but like you, there's good quarterbacks that are coming in next year. Yeah. They probably don't want Jalen. They probably don't. They probably... They probably would want... If Tua comes in, they're probably thinking Dolphins are going to take Tua. Yeah. So they might be able to get um, Jake, which I would be happy with. Very happy with. Do you think that pick lands in the top five? What do you think the, t- the five worst NFL teams are right now? Um, Dolphins. Um, Giants. Giants right now, but they're not going to draft a quarterback. They just did. Um, Arizona, maybe? Bucks? Uh, I'm trying to think of other teams. Jets? Yeah, the Jets are going to lose a lot of games because Donald's out. Yeah, is it basically the teams that are going to lose a lot right Raiders? now? Raiders, I don't know, but Raiders are one and one right now, right? Yeah, and they've the Cars been slinging the ball. Yeah, um, they were up against the Chiefs too. Yeah, and then they the second quarter came and Mahomes threw for four touchdowns, <laughs> Dude, and yeah, eighty yards or some shit. Like yeah. That. All in one quarter. I'm yeah. like, what in the fuck? Yeah. Okay. That guy can go off anytime. He's the Steph Curry of NFL right now. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I, I kind of think the Steelers are in that top five right now without like Roethlisberger. Even you mean with that, you it. Mean that even, five? Yeah, bottom yeah. five? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just don't see them winning a lot of games this year. Not anymore. Yeah. Not without. I mean, you. They play the Browns. Like twice. granted, they like, play the Browns twice. They play the Ravens twice. Who yeah. else is in that division? There's one more. That's Bengals. Those are tough games. They might be able to beat them. And the Bengals are like. Eh. Here's the crazy thing about the Bengals. They're zero and two, I think. Yeah. And yet, at the same time, the Red Rifle slinging the ball. He's like the second highest yardage. Is AJ Green still out too? I think so. Yeah. I don't think he's playing. I think they have to sling the ball because their defense is yeah. not doing it. They're just anything. like, just, just throw it. I, I don't know yeah. what to tell you. Just, just keep throwing it. Joe Mixon, yeah, you're not touching the ball. Because he, he's got, the, I think, the second highest passing yards out of anybody right now. Yeah, he's behind Mahomes, I think. <laughs> it's, it's either him or Jackson. Jackson's actually, I think, kind of up there in yardage, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... If you're if you're the Steelers, and you just gave up your first pick, I mean you're kind of just setting yourself back for next year. Yeah, they're trying to be the Dolphins. Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we saw Kyler ball out again. He was whipping it around. Yeah. Um, I'm still rookie quarterbacks are rough, man. It's very rare you get a rookie quarterback that comes in here and just torches the league. Yeah. Um, but he's doing he's doing good. I mean, his interceptions are down. Hey, who do you think leads the league in interceptions? Uh, is Stafford? I don't know. Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan? Yep, he's got five. He's got five already? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Dang, is he? Does he really? Yeah. Good Lord. Um, watching that... Vikings, um, who are they play? Green Bay. Okay. The Vikings-Packers game, 
Um, I saw Aaron Jones ball out finally to let him run the ball. Davin Cook, just sturdy. Yeah. And then I was playing against, this when I was playing Danny and he had um, Diggs. So Diggs had that one touchdown get taken back. So I was like, thank God. I was like, just throw it at Thielen. I don't care who you, just anybody but. Anybody but Diggs. Yeah. But, I mean, if, it's like, it's so weird because fantasy-wise, you can have a quarterback do well, but it'd still be a bad quarterback for the team. For, like, your like fantasy for, roster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because if the other team it's, has it's, a, one of the targets that your dude is thrown to and that's the guy he's hooking up with, yeah. it's actually negating your points and actually probably giving him more. Yeah. Because, um, what's his name? The dude that's Vikings quarterback? Uh, Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, yeah. yeah. Like, when you when you look... Like, because he's done well in fantasy so far. Yeah. Um, but when you look, you're like, is he a good quarterback? He, he's the average quarterback. Yeah, like if you, like, like road. yeah, like you're gonna give like him money. It's not gonna be like anything. Nothing top end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he does have the most. Like he did have the most guaranteed money when he signed, though. But that's just the way it's been moving. Like people are going after more guaranteed money. Yeah, uh, he's a good quarterback. It's not the best. It's not gonna win you a Super Bowl. Yeah, that's for unless sure. he has a super superb defense. Yeah. Um. That's what I put. I was like, a surprisingly good quarterbacks um, for me this year so far. Case Keenum and Kirk Cousins. For fantasy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I don't pay attention to those guys. They're, yeah. they're, they're not even on my radar. Yeah. Like, not for... Like, I wouldn't be excited to have them as my quarterback <laughs> if, I'm, if that's, you know, my team, but like... But hey, I'm the guy who had Trubisky, so... <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what you're talking about. I starting Garoppolo this week, all right? Even he, though I'm not happy about that. He did a lot good last week. I just don't like Jimmy G, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's good. San Fran liked him enough to pay him. I know they did. A shit ton of money. I, 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 he, I was kind of talking to somebody online the other day. Jimmy G is unproven. Yes. He, like he, that's, that's he, the, that was my biggest issue with them when he signed to San Francisco. I was like, you gave him this huge contract, and I haven't seen him do anything yet. He started, I think, six games for him at towards when he first got traded to the Niners. He won yeah. all six of them. Okay, he win. He won. I think he was starting for New England when Tom Brady was out. When Tom Brady was out, but like that's New England. Yeah. Right. Their offensive weapons are shaky at best. I think they do a lot of dump offs to the running backs and rely on the run game. Yeah, they're very run heavy. Like yeah. you, you have like you. They, they have three different running backs. They have like Brita and that Mustert guy now, and then their top two were hurt. Yeah, McKinnon and Tevin Coleman. So yeah. I think they're trying to like dump it off to the running back type stuff. Yeah, um, kind of like New England does. Yeah, have three, four running backs that come in one every down yeah. or whatever. Um, I just don't. I want to see consistency out of Jimmy G. Eliminate the turnovers. Definitely. I just, I don't know where to rank him as far as quarterbacks go. I, yeah, I, you, you definitely need to see more. He's got the capability, capability to be elite. Yeah. I just don't think he is. I just like him as a person. He yeah. was like dating a porn star for a while. Just I was like, this guy's a straight up G. Uh, straight up living up to the Jimmy G name. I was like, I like this guy. Yeah. Do you, son. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I don't think my, his arm... Even, like, his arm, like, you think of his arm, like, it's not the greatest. He had good receivers most of his career. He did. He had good running backs most of his career. Yes. Um, and he had, and he played with solid defenses most of his career. Yeah. Now, towards the end, he isn't, the team is going downhill. He's not really played with great defenses or had the best Yeah, weapons. so he's, he hasn't really had anybody I mean, to bail him out. Yeah, he's had Plexico Burris, who was... Shot himself in the leg. Yeah, he was pretty good, though. <laughs> he was a good receiver. That's what I remember of Yeah, Black Jeremy Schilbert. Shockey at tight end. Yeah. His bailout. Like, I'm, he had Michael Strahan, Justin Tuck. Yeah, I mean, yeah. OCM and Euro, Like, all these solid people. Yeah. I, so, is he, like, in the Hall of Fame? I don't think so. I don't, I, yeah. I, I've... 
the bit, the joke that I've made about Eli is that he was the better Manning for so long because he had two rings over Peyton. Yeah. Um, as soon as Peyton got his second ring, I was like, okay, fine. Like, good for Peyton to get that second ring because otherwise it's like, don't live in the shadow of, a, of your brother who's worse than you. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I Eli Manning was like an average quarterback that stepped up in, in playoffs. I don't think he ever threw for 40 touchdowns. I don't, I think he rarely threw for 30. Yeah. Not to mention his interceptions were double digits, 15 to 20 every year. Yeah. Also, why does he always look constipated? That's the look on his he face. He looks always. retarded. Yeah, he lo- yeah Sorry. Like, he's always in pain. Challenged. He always looks, yeah, he's a little tardy. Um, <laughs> his, he just always looks constipated all the time. Like he's like got a stomach ache all of his life. Hey, I do like the commercials he did with his brother and them like kicking each other in the butt and yeah. messing around, yeah. walking around ESPN. I like the commercials that Peyton used to do with like JT. Timberlake, oh, when, they Timberlake. Would, when they would do like the ping pong stuff and then all the other, yeah. Nah, they, what, they, what, so what does it take to get into the end, uh, as a quarterback, how do you secure yourself in the Hall of Fame? Tom Brady. It can't just, can't just, just be Tom Brady. Be, be Tom best. Brady. Be the best Brees, to ever play the game. Be Tom Brady. Break a record, Drew basically. Brees. Break some sort of record. See, I think the jury's still out kind of, like Aaron Rodgers is, he might he does have a ring. He has one. Um, I think Philip Rivers gets in before Eli Manning. Really? He's got better stats. Does Matt Ryan get into the Hall of Fame? No. Yeah, he has no. no ring. He's average. Yeah. I mean, but like, if you like, but can you have a? Can you get into the Hall of Fame having a winning season every year without a ring? Does Dan Marino go into the Hall of Fame? Dan Marino is a Hall of Famer. He, yeah. he, when he retired, he led the league in touchdown passes. Yeah, so, that, so you got that. Passing so you, yards. Like, when you think of the Hall of Fame, it's not just, oh, hey, we won a Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, otherwise, you'd see guys with, like, eight rings. And six also, rings, yeah. Dan Marino in today's league would throw for, like, 6,000 yards. <laughs> like, Dan Marino threw, like, the Dolphins were the first ones to really, like, sling the ball around like yeah. that. Like, you think about quarterbacks back in the day, like... Troy, the Troy Aikmans and the Joe Montanas, like you, if you threw for three thousand yards, you were elite. Yeah. Now, if you don't throw for five thousand or damn near forty five hundred, you suck. Yeah. yeah. Like. Yeah, I mean, Dan, I mean, I say Dan Marino because Dan Marino is like in my top three favorite quarterbacks of all time. Yeah. Um, it was unfortunate. He he went to one Super. Bowl he went to a sh- yeah, and he went to a shitty. And team. I think it was his rookie year. Yeah. And he took it for granted, and he said, I never made it back, and that yeah. was my biggest regret as a football player. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I only see two Hall of Fame quarterbacks right now. That are playing currently? Yeah. Tom Brady, Tom Brady. and Drew Brees. Those are the only guaranteed, I think, they're both first ballot. The other ones, I'm like... Russell Wilson? Aaron Rodgers... He's still got. He's still. He's, he, I mean, he's got a he lot more. Play, yeah, yeah. He has he a lot to, more game. If, in him. if he stays healthy and continues to grow, he'll be one of those guys. Aaron Rodgers, I think he needs like one or two more good years, and he'll make it. Yeah. Um. But the one thing that's kind of a knock on Aaron Rodgers, and the reason why I'm saying he needs one to two more years, is because he sat behind Brett Favre for almost his full first contract. Yeah. So. Um, but he's a good quarterback. Like he should be in the Hall of Fame. I just want to see one or two more, and then he'd be a lock. Yeah, uh, you also need to bring, like you you need to bring some weapons to him to throw to if you want him to get into the Hall of Fame. Who's he yeah. got out there right now? He lost everybody. Devontae Adams. That's it. Yeah. Like Jordy Nelson's gone. Cobb is gone. Um, but that's this is like his third or fourth receiver change. Yeah. Because you remember when he first started, he had Donald Driver. Yeah. And Greg Jennings. Yeah. Stuff like that. And then, hey, they're getting old. Let's replace them. Yeah. They got Randall Cobb. Then they, you know, Devontae Adams. Yeah. Jordy Nelson. And then they got rid of Nelson first and then Cobb. And now it's just Adams and that guy with a hyphenated name. Oh, they also have um, uh, the tight end, the big tight end. Jared Cook. No, no, no. Jared Cook is down in... Uh, Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham's a little... Is wild. his career going to... Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. It's like... How, over every, overnight, every, he just stopped being good. What happened to Jimmy Graham? He got traded to Seattle. I think that was the biggest, that worst thing for his career. When but he like, was playing, you just stop being the player that you are. 
When he was playing with Drew Brees, that was like Drew Brees' Buckets favorite target. all yeah. day. You're they the were lining him up out outside, there. like putting him in receiver slots. And that was the thing. He got in a fight with the organization because they tried to franchise tag him as a uh, tight end. Yeah. He didn't and like that. he was lining up outside almost every possession. He wasn't lining up inside to block. Yeah. And he's not. he wasn't the best blocker. He's a horrible blocker. Yeah. And what was Seattle having and to do? That's the biggest thing. They they lined they him up were, as a They were using him wrong. Yeah, completely. Yeah. So, when you say like a guy is good and stuff like that, it's because the scheme works and he's superior. Like he's a good athlete. But like most it, of the people in the FL are good athletes. They just have to be put in the right positions. How long did he play for Seattle? One. Four years, I want to say. So you couldn't figure that shit out in four years. Like you didn't look at tape on him at how like. Hey, look, he's six eight. He's the tallest person out there. All all, all day, just Drew Brees just throws it up to him. It's like, he'll get it. He's the tallest one out there. He played basketball. Yeah. I I, I don't think Seattle was using him properly. They definitely weren't using him properly. First of all, you're using an unproven blocker as a blocker. Yeah. And then you saw how poorly that worked. Um, but, 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 any, but like, now well, in Green Bay, do you think he resurfaces or is he too old now? I think he's too old. He's too I, old I think he's a little bit older. He he might end up with like eight hundred yards. I don't see him getting a thousand. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Like they, the thing was is that when Seattle made that trade, they traded one of the best guards in the league. Didn't they trade like Steve Hutchinson? I think so. Yeah. To the Rams yeah. or they, that, the center or something. They traded somebody that they needed for Jimmy Graham. Of course. That's typical. And then Seattle that's league. when that's when Seattle's offensive line because Seattle went from having the highest paid offensive line. Yeah. To the least yeah. paid during is, Russell Wilson's yeah. tenure, so which is the worst move you can make. Yeah, you have a franchise quarterback, you have a line to protect him, and then you're gonna like replace the line for just a a you you replace the line for somebody who's a weapon deep, and don't even use him as a weapon deep. Yeah, so it's like what do you you're trying to replace a lineman with a tight end to play lineman. <laughs> Like, I don't understand what you're doing. Yeah. Um, I mean, Seattle did do good after that. I think they went to the Super Bowl. They made some weird decisions. decision-making, like like the trades that they made for Percy Harvin. Granted, like, they that won was a the risk. Super Bowl that, that, that That was a risk. But see, Percy Harvin was that one guy that you're like, ooh, Percy Harvin. It's unfortunate he had all those concussions Gr- and migraines. Sure, and like yeah. That. And granted, like, you could say it worked out because they did win the Super Bowl that year. Yeah. So... Like yay, but like, but he was also gone after that year. So there's a lot of money they just threw away right there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like, cause they've always been such a defensive minded team, and then they kind of gotten away from that, and I think they're slowly trying to build that back up now. The trade for clown, clowny and stuff. So I do. So I like when I see that. I'm like, okay, cool. Um. Yeah, I feel like because like in like especially in the years that they the one the year that they won the Super Bowl, and then the next year when they went back to the Super Bowl. Like, they were kind of that team that, like, they had a stat defense and then they just kind of took average receivers and made them look really good. I don't know. Deion Branch? Yeah. <laughs> eh. <laughs> like, you had, so you have Deion Branch. You had, like, back in the day, you had, like, Sidney Rice. You had Doug Baldwin. You had um, Curse. You had Golden Tate. Like, all players who were... Okay. So what happened with that Golden Tate thing? Like, he got super, like, him and Russell, or... He fucked Russell's wife. And that's why Russell and his wife got a divorce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then they, they, they're they like, okay, what are we going to do? Should we keep the franchise quarterback or get rid of the guy that's fucking people's wives? So they got rid of that guy. And so they sent him off, and then Russell started... Russell married Sierra, so mm. it all worked out for him. But, uh... Except for all the memes of... Him and future and stuff, all the beef there. But outside of that, um, is Russell Wilson's a weird quarterback. The, the the shittier he looks as a human being, the, when he grows his hair out and like looks homeless, the better he plays as a quarterback. <laughs> so when I see him in the off season just looking like trash, I'm like, he's about to have a good year. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I don't know. I, I Jimmy Graham. I think he's got at least a touchdown so far. Yeah, no, he had the, the touchdown against the Bears. Yeah. The the game they won. Yeah. That was the worst Thursday night football game to start the year. Yeah. 
And then Browns got their first win. Yeah. They still look terrible. They did not look good. I think um, Joku's out. Mm. He got a concussion. Nice. Didn't he miss all the last year, too? Is, is, Lar- is Landry, Landry out? I don't know. I don't know. Odell had a good game, yeah. but like uh, Baker was still in, inefficient. He was, yeah. His, his, his completion percentage is not there. Ba- or, uh, Odell went from wearing like a 200 grand watch to the next game wearing a $2, two million, million dollar watch. He got, a, he got a watch deal. Yeah. Um, the watch is valued at like $250. Yeah. If, if you... <laughs> so it's going to be weird. So he's got a watch deal. He ended up getting a sponsorship. Yeah. And uh, it's cool. Good for him. Yeah. It's sponsorships. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Make your money when you can. Yeah. You got eyes on you every game. Um, they Okay, so did, ESPN put up this throwback picture and uh, of, of college. And, like, a lot of times, like, you, you can look however you look at college. I, I don't – like, you can be a great college player and it doesn't translate to the NFL. Yeah. Um, you know, i.e. Johnny, Johnny Football or Tim Tebow or a bunch of other players or sometimes you don't even make it to the league. But, like, they – so – when they, they posted up this throwback pick, and um, it was Georgia um, running backs. And they had Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, and Sonny Michelle. And I was like, is this the most stacked backfield ever? Like, Jesus Christ. So, I don't know if you remember this. Um, it was Ronnie Brown. Uh-huh. Cadillac Williams and Brandon Jacobs for Auburn. Oh man! They all came out in the same draft and all got drafted in the first round. Yeah, that, yeah, and that's the other thing. Like when you when you look at the players, all three of those players are starters for their organization that they're playing with, and they're all doing well. Like I heard, like so I think Sony Michelle's probably the least well known out of them, even though he's got the he's the one that has the rank. He's out of them. he's the one who carries the ball. For New England, it's not that like he gets the most carries. Yeah, but that's what he's good at. Yeah, like Does the he other have two rings or one. They were Tom Brady's won the last two years. Yeah. Uh. They lost. Yeah, yeah, they got back to back years. Right. They've gone back. To, no, I thought they they won this past year. Yeah, they won this and past then year. They lost to the Eagles. Eagles, and then oh, that's right, that's and what then it they was. They won the one before that. Yeah, I against Atlanta. Yeah, so he only has one. He only has one. Yeah. Okay. Um. I've heard some crazy stories about Sonny Michelle as an eighth grader playing up against high schoolers and trucking them. Like it's like they're like, yo, this dude was a big deal even back in middle school. Like, and then you have Todd Gurley and Nick Chubb who are just big dudes. Yeah, I mean, call it certain certain positions get produced by the NFL. Yeah, but but like certain like certain certain colleges always have like. Georgia always has like good QBs and, and running backs. Alabama has great running backs, but they never like it's so hit and miss when they get into the NFL. So I don't I don't know if it's just like they're just going to a team where the, it's just not working for them, or maybe they have a bad O line or or what. I think it's harder for people to evaluate Alabama. Well, especially quarterbacks at Alabama because they have so many weapons. They have the best weapons. And they, don't, they usually have one of the best offensive lines, and their, yeah. their team is just so much more talented than a lot of other teams yeah. that it's hard to kind of give them an evaluation. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, two. I mean, two was playing like he's probably going to win the Heisman this year. Jalen's playing like he wants to win the Heisman this year. Yeah. So that's going to be. I'm excited to see Oklahoma, Alabama play this year, but. Um, yeah, I don't. I. I don't want to see either one of those two players go to do- to the to Miami. I just don't. So it's probably gonna happen. Yeah. But like we said earlier, like the Dolphins don't have anybody. Yeah. They should rebuild the offensive line and the interior, the defensive line. Like you gotta, in order to start a franchise, like you really have to secure the inside, the big people, the heavyweights, and work your way out. Then you get the skill positions, the quarterback, the running back, the receivers. Like, yeah. You have a good offensive line, you're going to be able to get pass protection and run the ball. Then you get the running back, right? And yeah. Then you get the, and then you get the quarterback. Or the quarterback, you know. But, like, the receiver should be the last thing you draft. Yeah. In my opinion. Oh, yeah, 100%. I think if I'm an organization, I'm, I'm not paying for receivers. Like, 
Yeah. I want I want good corners. I want good line, and give me a good quarterback. That's and then everything else will work itself out. I I kind of you kind of follow I, I like if I was if I was an organization I kind of follow follow the uh, Patriots model. like. Yeah, you're not. Modern. But here's the thing: you're not going to pay a receiver a lot of money unless you already have the quarterback. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So the receiver is dependent on the quarterback. The quarterback is dependent on the offensive line. Mm-hmm. The running back is dependent on the offensive line. line. So what does all that have in common? Yeah, the offensive line. line. Yeah. Because if you if 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 you're not getting like I don't care how good a vision a running back has if he doesn't have the A gap B gap open you're not going to be able to produce unless you're Saquon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and even then it's like. Like then, then you're just up for injury every fucking play. Do you remember like Adrian Peterson in like the first second year in the league playing against the Bears? The Bears were stacking the box, nine people in the box, and he goes off for two hundred and eighty yards. That guy's on that guy's first of all, still still playing and doing well. Yeah. But like he, he came back, tore his ACL, comes back, almost breaks the rushing record. Yeah. He was like nine yards shy of the rushing record. Which, if I was the Vikings, I was like, yo, just put them back in the game. They're still timeless. Let them break that record. <laughs> but, uh... He's, he's crazy. He, Hall of Fame. Hall, 100%. Yeah. 100%. First ballot Hall of Fame. Easy. Yeah. The one knock, the one knock is the switch. What switch? Oh, oh, that? Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. You think that knocks him out of the Hall of Fame? No, that he, it might not make him first ballot. Um, he's gonna go in the Hall of Fame, but that might not like the the Hall of Fame looks off the off the field issues too. Like it's it is. They look at stats and what you did for the game, but they also if you have anything off the field issues, yeah. they take that like super serious. Do they, so if you do like a lot of community work, does that bump you into the Hall of Fame like higher? As if you have the stats, I guess it like, would. Like okay, like so, like if so, say say for all day, if he has great stats. If, if, if that takes him down a notch, if somebody with a little bit less stats that does like great work for their community, does that bump them up to first ballot? They might look that. I don't know if it does or not. Hmm. They just don't want the off the field issues. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they just don't want the negatives. But it also wasn't Adrian Peterson part of the uh, sex scandal, the boat scandal. The okay, boat that's scandal. the okay. Yeah, everyone has had a sex scandal. I feel like. Well, the, the whole team as the Vikings. Went out on that boat. Yeah. You remember that story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like rape, rape. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the oh man, we'll, I will. I'll touch on that in a little bit. The the scandal <laughs> stuff. Let's see if there's anything else. If we want to, um, oh, Chiefs running back Damian Williams is out. They still got Shady. Shady is Shady playing though. Did like, he get hurt last week I, too? I th- I think he's he's battling something, but so it's. I think Shady should still play. He'll probably still play. I mean... But he's also older, so he might be up for injury. Yeah. Um, your Cowboys released uh, Taco Carlton. Yeah, and then he, like... The second after he put Free Me. Yeah, and Dolphins. So, Dolphins. Um, he's having with the Dolphins, and I think he's playing against the Cowboys this week. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't... I don't have a problem with them releasing him. I think we could have traded him for a draft pick. 100%. Um, I also think that, hey, trade him to the Dolphins for Mika Fitzpatrick. And then also throw in like a second round pick, that second would, and fourth round that pick. That would have been smarter. Oh, what? But I think Fitzpatrick thing happened like a couple, like two weeks earlier, right? Did it happen in the same... There week? was talks when he when Fitzpatrick asked for a trade. Like I, I was like, why don't we trade Taco? Like mm-hmm. I, he's not happy there. He's yeah. not going to play that much. Yeah, you know he's a rotation defenseman, and I think he's not happy with that. Yeah. Um, so I was like, why not just throw like second and fourth? But I knew the Dolphins wanted a first. So. Uh, I guess the only thing left to talk about is the AB stuff. <laughs> so. Should we uh, dive into this? Yeah, sure. He. Uh, I didn't read any of the reports on like what the women were filing for. I can. I, I know. I heard there was a third woman. Okay. And so I. I don't even. And I don't know the story behind the third person. I just know the story behind the first two. And. Um, so the first. First of all, I think the Raiders were trying to keep all this under wraps while he was with. Um, 
with uh, with with them. Yeah, I don't think that the Raiders knew. I think the I think Antonio Brown put a target on himself by acting so crazy and getting all these stories about him. Yeah, that these women are like, why fifteen minutes of fame? Like, Could be. Let me um, just put my name out there. I, th- I man, I think stuff was coming out while he was with the Raiders, and then when he rele- when he got released and signed with the Pats, they were like, "Fuck this guy, just let let it all go," and then stories just started coming out because Pats would have never signed him if all this stuff was out prior. They're just, yeah, they're just not that. So cheap. they signed him knowing that the first woman filed, but there was also like okay, did, uh, really? she's, did they? Because I thought I already... grab like that that. Yeah, the Pats already signed him when the first woman came out, but then, like, so the second one comes out, and they're like, they, first of all, I think the reason why they released him is because it was causing a distraction for the team. Bill Belichick was like, let's talk about football only. I'm not here to talk about the other stuff. I don't. And they kept asking him questions about it, and he left the press conference. Yeah, he left the press conference. So I think that it started bringing distraction, and then that second woman filed. And then you're like, all right, you're done. So the, so the f- first woman filed, she was a trainer. Um, and she said there was some weird stuff on him. She was saying that he was trying to, like, make moves on her. He was saying, he was bragging about, like, I jack, your, you know, I jack my dick on your back. On your back. I'm like, and then, like, the story behind that is all weird. It's like she wasn't paying attention and you were able to jerk off on her back. Like, how quick are you jerking off? Like, I don't understand how that even... It all sounds consensual. The, the, like, the, the, it does. And the fact that she it happened and that she was still his trainer after that. Yeah. Like, that's what gets me, like, it's kind of like, mm. And then also, she, was, she wasn't filing, because she was filing for rape. And she wasn't filing a criminal charge. It was a civil suit. So she was, it was for money. She was yeah. like, I want two million. Yeah. She wanted, she, it was a money grab. It was attempt. a money grab. It was so, a money grab. They so, still hung out. She would go over to his house. Like, yeah, he didn't say exactly. anything. So, like, when all that happened, I was like, oh, this is going to blow over. This is nothing. She just wants money. Um, because anyone that actually got raped is not like, oh, but if you give me $2 million, I, th- I think People I th- that got, actually got raped, they're yeah. like, yo, I want, I want this person off the streets. Um, Do I think they had sexual relations with the first woman? 100%. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I think it was consensual. This, now, the second woman comes out, and that's a, <laughs> it's a funny story. Because she said, because he invited her to her house to paint a mural. So she says she's down on the ground, like on her knees, like painting this mural. And he comes downstairs in his house, comes downstairs with just a towel on and is like standing right by her face. And just like they're trying, he's trying to have a conversation with her. Doesn't make a pass at her. Just, yeah. it's just kind of uncomfortable. And then she's like, that day ends. And then she comes back another day to keep working on the mural. And he comes down again, uh, butt naked, but just with like a handkerchief in front of his dick. And then she's like, this is, she's like, I'm used to guys making passes at me. So I just try to be professional about it and don't make a big deal. Or whatever, and so I was just like, "That's just a funny story." Like, like because with, with A B, no one just does that, right? You know, you don't just come down with like just nothing but a towel. Like a, you do that. That's something. Try that's to making. You're trying to attempt to start something. And also because you are A B, I guarantee you that's happened multiple times and it's worked multiple times. Yeah. And so this just happens to be the one time that it didn't work. Yeah. And so for that, I mean, it's like, and it's even that, it's like you can't really charge him with anything. He's in his house. Whatever. She did. She she didn't file anything, right? She, she, she just came, said a, she came out with full, that story or whatever. Full story, like no rape, right? Or right. Anything she, like yeah, that. she so wasn't like, accusing him or anything. And then the weird thing was like, he opens up a text chain with five other numbers, like a, a group text, and her number is one of the numbers in there. He posts up pictures of her, her kids. He was like, "Yo, this bitch right here is trying to do shit," like putting out threatening text messages. And it's like, if you're doing that, why? Act? Like he, the other people in that text chain were like his lawyer, like people like that. So it's like, they were like, yeah, we got it. And they're like, why did you add her in the group text? Like, why is she part of this text chain? And then, then that's when she was like, contact her lawyers contacted the NFL. They're like, and the NFL contacted um, the Patriots for with like a cease and desist act. Like stop, stop talking to her altogether. Like don't make any more contact with her. And the Patriots told him no more contact with her. And then he continues to do contact with her. And then, then that's when the Patriots like, we, we, this is too much. We can't do this. Yeah. And then they finally release him. And then this morning, he uh, posts something that says, I'm done with the NFL. I'm not going to play ever again. And then, 20 minutes before I came to your house, 
he posted up another tweet going at Big Ben, um, Shannon Sharp, and Robert Kraft about how all three of them had sexual allegations come out against them. But, you know, they only had, what, nothing happened to Kraft. Here's the thing, though. They didn't talk to the media afterwards. Exactly. They didn't try and talk to the women, like, when they came out with the allegations. Yeah. It's like, everything is going to be handled by my lawyers yes. and in court. None of it's going to be made public. If, like, here's the, like I, I don't, I don't... You don't know. hear this stuff keep continuing every day, every week. Yeah. If I... I'm one of those people... I, I got a couple of things to say. Like, I'm one of those people who's like, when something gets comes out, like, it's definitely let your lawyers handle it. Yeah. But, like, definitely don't contact the person that's coming against you and, like, send threatening messages. Yeah. I, like, it would be cool if he did release saying something, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm going to let my lawyer, like, say something about it. Don't just ignore it. Because then, like, you know what I mean? But, like, don't be, like, professional with whatever you say. But, like, do, do say something coming from you, not just your lawyers. Because yeah. when it only comes from your lawyers, it's like, he's trying to hide something. I don't know. I feel like his life is too public it is and he 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 makes makes it it too public he makes it that way yeah Yeah. and i think that's bad and i think that's why he has been getting released by these teams it's like dude you're like uh, you're i think he might be worse than like the diva era receivers because at least then they just wanted money right yeah and they talked about football yeah they were like or their body or they were self-obsessed with themselves but it wasn't this yeah this is something new man yeah but also, they, the other divas weren't around in that social media era, really. Like, kind of, but not really. They knew how to, add, like, their, their stuff with the media, like the interviews and stuff like that, their personas, yeah. that was to get more money. Sure. That was to bring more limelight to them, to get more sponsorships, yeah. more this. Like, yeah. They're just trying to keep thing. their name pre- prevalent. Yeah, there. Terrell Owens, get your popcorn ready. Like, I'm right. pretty sure you had, like, popcorn deal or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, Ocho Cinco. Changing his name to Ocho Cinco. Yeah, like stunts like that. Joe, I think it was a Joe Horn who pulled out the cell phone in the end zone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like, you know, maybe trying to get a cell phone deal like yeah. that. And then they, you know, started banning objects and stuff like that. So Randy Moss wasn't a diva to me. He was just... Maybe towards the end. Yeah, got a little funky, but I think that's because the Patriots released him. Yeah. Randy Moss. Kind of same, same, kind of similar timelines with those two, huh? Yeah. Raiders, oh. Raiders to pass the release. Hey, man, Antonio Brown didn't have the bad season that Randy Moss did. Yeah. Uh, He barely had a season. Yeah. I think he had like 400 yards for the Raiders. His only year there. Really? Yeah, it was bad. So, A.B. went from a guaranteed 40. Right? He He lost all his guaranteed money. I don't know. That, I think that's the big shtick about why he's releasing stuff now about Big Ben and Shannon Sharp and uh, Robert Kraft. Because he's like, yo, these owners and stuff, they can like do whatever they want to and release you and take away your guarantee. Um, but here's the thing. like In court, did it get proven that they did all this stuff? Nothing, it's, nothing's happened yet. Like, like oh, that's you the mean, thing. You mean, like, you mean yeah, was, was Big Ben proven oh, guilty? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. They're all allegations. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, and that's the thing. Antonio Brown should know this. Like, if just like, wait it out, wait it out, yeah. and see what happens. So here's the okay. So here's like, the thing. oh, these guys get off scot free. Like, you're. It's it's also that happened like what seven years ago for Big Ben, eight years ago, ten years ago, something like that. Yeah, it's a while ago. So like, social media wasn't as prevalent. And that's information true wasn't as well. And stuff like that. Even then, he st- kind of still did. And then when he started leading the league in receptions and yardage for multiple years, yeah. I think the fame of that got to his head. And, that makes sense. And you know, he probably. I think he he's you got so some, he's got a screw loose in I, his head now. I I don't think I don't know like, if that was always there. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Well, here's the other thing. I don't think money and fame changes who you are. I think it just brings out something that's inside of you that. Maybe you weren't able to express before because you didn't have eyes on you. Yeah. Like if you're just a shitty person, it's just going to amplify that. Like if you're a good person, a humble person, I don't like look at Julio Jones. It's not, you know what I mean? Like he just got all this money and fame. Like he, he doesn't act out. Yeah. So it's like, I don't think it like, but like the CTE is the only thing I can think of if maybe, but here's the other thing. All this about AB that's come out, not a single person that's ever played with him has had his back. No one's come out and be like, yo, no, he's actually a good guy. Zero people have said that. 
Antonio Brown is still one of the best receivers in the NFL. Oh, 100%. Like you, yeah. If he just shut up and played football, I mean, I don't like I don't like saying that. Yeah. I don't like say shut up and play football because like there are certain aspects of you know a player's thing. They they do have a higher chance to affect somebody else's life. Yeah. You know when they speak out and stuff like that. But when they yeah. speak out, even like, if you don't want to be a role model, you are you gonna be one. Yeah, they are. Of, a lot of a lot of kids look up to these guys. So yeah. you know, suicide prevention stuff like yeah. that. You know, especially and with even, even on the even on the like even on the smaller scale of like not even just like, <laughs> not even just like having to do charity work or anything like that. Even on the smallest of scale of being a role model for how to get into the league. Yeah. For other football players that are the training camps that they provide in the off season, your your hard work at at practice and stuff like that. It's like you know making kids days and stuff like that, like the hospital. Like they do, they they do do a lot of charity work during the week. They go visit hospitals Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, I I don't have a problem with them speaking out on certain issues. Like I kind of just. Don't let it affect me. Like yeah. when they, like with Kaepernick, like stuff like that. Like, yeah, you know, it brought attention to a cause in the U.S. that needs to be brought to. Yeah. Got but, taken but the wrong direction. But people made it into like, something else. You don't have to do that when you're on the field during game time, stuff like that. Like uh, kneeling for the flag, it is what it is. Like yeah. I'm, I'm, as a, I'm American as a get. I never had an issue with that. Yeah. I he's, still, any- he's still paying his respect. It's just different. People want to, like, I'm, I was even one of those people that I'm like, why are we even playing the national anthem? Yeah. Back in the day, we used to just play. Yeah. Just go out and play. Well, the national anthem, like people, like you're supposed to take your hat off, right? Yeah. How many times have you been to a sporting event where people don't Only take their the hat South. off? Only in the South. It's like, bro, like really? Like you're, that, that's disres- that's, to me, that's more disrespectful than kneeling. Yeah. And then also like, cause I, I, I went to school in the South. Like if, um, guys aren't allowed to wear hats indoors. It's like if you're inside of a building, you don't you don't wear a hat. You can put it on when you leave, but like not in a building. Yeah. Like it's you know what I mean. So it's yeah, like, like my my grandpa was old school like that. Every time I walked into a house, I'd have to remove my hat. Yeah. You know me, I always you wear always a have a hat on. Yeah, because yeah. I'm bald as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Great um, beard though. Uh, it's getting there. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. But yeah, I uh, yeah, it's weird. Like, is was AB just always a shitty person, and just. There, I think you're right on the whole aspect of that. Um, you know, it was probably always there, and then once he got that podium, yeah, he took it the wrong way. Yeah. Um, man, it's a, it's a bummer of a story, just because he's such a good football player, and he he had he he had a Cinderella story, tiny receiver. Yeah. No one wanted to pick him up, and ends up balling out and being. Arguably the best receiver in the league, numbers wise, definitely, you know. Yeah. Um, and then just that's the end of the story right there. Yeah, I think a few, I, a few he, good seasons. He he's a hard worker. Like, definitely I'm a hard not, worker. I'm, 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 can't knock I'm, his hard work. I'm not taking that away from him. Yeah, can't knock. He's his just hard work. crazy as hell. Yeah, he's definitely crazy as hell. And and, that, then, that, and that'll like, run you out of the league by itself. It's it, that's what they're proving now. It's like no matter how good your numbers are, if you're difficult to work with, we don't want to work with you. Like, a lot of people said T.O. was a good teammate. Yeah. He just, he got into fights that he shouldn't have got into yeah. fights with. Yeah. He got in a fight with Donovan McNabb out of Philadelphia. He got in a fight with, uh, who did he fight on the Cowboys? Didn't he get, or, or no, it was the Niners, Jeff Garcia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He threw Jeff Garcia. Like, you can't criticize, like, that's going to get you kicked off the team. And then eventually that gets out to the league and... T.O. could still play. Like, didn't he take like a year off after he left Philly and then the Bengals picked him up and he played pretty well? Yeah. Before he got hurt? Like, I mean, T.O. was one of those players. Are you saying that A.B. might still play? I think he will. I, uh, Josh Gordon, superior talent. Like, he could have been Julio Jones. Yeah. Like, up there with Julio Easily. and stuff like that. Easily. It's unfortunate that he had the drug addictions and stuff like that, but I th- well, look at him now. But he's trying to get his life back on the track, and then he fell off the wagon again. When he was with Cleveland, like that, he was like in rehab. He came back, and he's like, "I can't do it." Yeah. And yeah, I understand why Cleveland's a shithole. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also with the Patriots, he's got structure. That and I think that's good for him. And that's great for him. I think. And they, they were willing. It's like, hey man. 
go get yourself clean. Yeah. We're not going to release you. We want you here. Yeah. And look um, at him now. He's balling. Yeah. He's a great ass- asset to the team. How old uh, is he now? Like 28? He can't. Yeah, he's not in 27? his 30s. He's not in his 30s. Dude, that's crazy too. Yeah. It seems like he's missed like so much time. It's because he got drafted by the Browns and was immediately like not playing because he was suspended every year. He got suspended and came back for like 13 games in my league. And yeah, that was the other thing. I was like, yo, he barely played the season and he's leading the league. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, he's a guy. <laughs> oh. What do you think about Gronk? You think Gronk's going to come back at all this no. year? I, don't, I think Gronk's done. Um, if he does come back, I'd be re- I'd be so surprised. I, like people are like, oh, Gronk's coming back. I I don't think so. Um, he's, I think he's. I don't think he's enjoying football. You know what I mean? Like he's. I think he's done. Done. He uh, started a company, or he's like starting a company. The CBD stuff. The, yeah. yeah. So I saw. I love it. I love C- and I love CBD stuff. So it's like you know, for for especially for somebody like him, it's like he he's a great spokesman for it. Do you watch any of the barstool stuff or anything like that? Uh, a little bit here and there, certain people. Did you ever watch the uh, Gronk one? The Gronk just did the pizza thing with uh, Prez. Uh, I didn't yeah. see No, like, he's like, you're coming back week 14 for us, right? Yeah. Week four, think about it. No double coverage. Yeah. They got AB, they got I know, Josh there's, Gordon. There's too many people out there. Yeah, <laughs> who's going to cover you? Come on, week 14. Yeah. Um, even, even with AB gone, if he came back, who's going to cover him? Yeah. They still have a good team, Josh Gordon, Edelman. That's what, I mean, they, they proved that. Week one, you know what I mean? It's like, with or without AB, we're looking for a Super Bowl win. And then with AB, I think they were just trying to, like, build, uh, like, team chemistry. So they fed him, like, six straight plays down the thing to a touchdown. And um, and you got to see AB ball again, and you're like, oh, man, this motherfucker's good. Um, but good for me, I got Edelman, so I'm more numbers for Edelman. <laughs> you're probably... Finally. Happy. You're like, yes, Edelman's back. Yeah, I know, he's back. <laughs> more points. Um... Even though I think with AB gone, it actually affects uh, Josh Gordon's numbers more than Edelman's numbers. I, I noticed that Josh Gordon wasn't getting fed as much. Like, yeah. I think AB led the team in targets that game. Yeah, especially for like the positions that they play. Like, um, he, he wasn't like him and him and Edelman are two different style players, so that he wasn't really taking too much. Away. I mean, he's definitely taking targets away, but like he's not taking too much away. Didn't from they Edelman. also play the Dolphins? Yeah. And yeah, and probably it's like, like, hey, let's burn them. Let let's get a let us try to get game rapport with yeah. Antonio. Yeah. Like I think that was the focus. Thing. That was they knew the they focus. were gonna win. Yeah, let's just give it AB seven times in a row. Yeah, didn't they have two pick sixes in that game yeah. too? Because that game was like like I was expecting more of a blot. It was like twenty four to zero yeah. entering yeah, it wasn't, fourth it wasn't quarter, crazy. and then they had like two pick sixes. Jamie Collins got another pick, and I was like, wow. Yeah. I didn't realize Jamie Collins was back on the Patriots. You left Cleveland? I, yeah, I guess I didn't realize that either. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny how those uh, Patriots that they trade away always end up going back. They're like, oh, man. I had it so good. Yeah. Well, it's like well, it's like my numbers were so nice. Well, his numbers were good when he was with there, but then he was going to ask for a lot of money, which is why the Patriots, if they're like, huh, that's too much, and yeah. you're going to decline here pretty soon, take a walk. That's the that's the thing about but being. But then they always end up going back. That's the crazy thing, right? It's uh, when you're with the Patriots as a receiver, or as a running back, you know you're not going to get, like max contracts. Yeah. Do you want to be in a, at an organization where it's literally team mentality, and we're looking for Super Bowls every single time? Yeah. Like, are you willing to take a hit on your paycheck to win rings? I don't even know how much Edelman makes. I, I, I don't. Maybe 12 million? Yeah. 10? Yeah. 14 maybe? Tom Brady makes like middle of the road. 18? Yeah. 20? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, please just feed the O-line. Yeah. Feed the O-line, keep me protected. Yeah, offensive Dude, that's the other crazy thing. Tom Brady is 42? Yeah, something. Somewhere around there? Yeah. He's doing some unprecedented shit. He's playing out of his mind, healthy... Great arm. He can still... Like, that was the one thing about this year. I was like, can he still sling the ball? Like, he, yes, he's got a, he's a sharpshooter coming up the middle. Can he still sling it 40-50? And we saw that he could week one. He threw that deep bomb, like, 40-50 yards. It's like, how is he doing what he's doing at his age? It's, so, it's the time, the TB12 method, it's, man. It's, yeah. I don't know what he's doing, bro, but it, like, it's... Like, recovery and, 
diet nowadays, like it's, it's come so far that I think he's just, yeah, I don't know. Um, it is pretty amazing what he's been doing. I remember like what, three years ago, they played Kansas City and Kansas City blitzed the crap out of him. They're like, oh, Tom Brady's done. Tom Brady's done. Tom Brady, that season, they go on to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. And he took hits that season, too. Yeah. They struggled for, like, two to three games after that. Yeah. And then they just turned on the burners. Yeah. And that's typically what New England does. Like, the first six, seven, eight games, like, they don't look so hot. Yeah. And then they just turn they build, it on. Yeah, they build up. Yeah. But this season, they're coming out hot. I mean, granted, the first two games were... Against the Dolphins and... Who else did it? They didn't Steelers. Play. Steelers, yeah. yeah. So they really haven't played anybody. This will be the real first test. That's the other thing about the the Patriots. Not, like the, uh, the AFC East is a shitty division. It's, it's, Tom Brady's... Sh- it's, it's a shitty division because the Patriots are, and Tom Brady are in it. Well, that, but also like the other three people in that, the Dolphins. The Dolphins are trash. Exactly. The Jets. They have a good defense. That's it. And then um, and, and the Steelers, right? No, no, but the Bills. The Bills, yeah. And they Trash. have a good and they have a good defense. Yeah. They have good defenses because Tom Brady's in their division. They're trying to stop Tom Brady, so they're trying to build the defenses. Yeah. Their quarterbacks are both young. So you're guaranteed six wins every year. No, the Dolphins usually play the Patriots pretty well. Yeah. Up until recently. Yeah, I mean, not up this until year. recently. Not this year. But usually those division matchups, like yeah. you, like even though a team might be trash, usually the division matchups are like really, really tough. Yeah. It doesn't matter how bad their teams are. Like the Dolphins, the the Bills will probably beat the Patriots. One time this year. Yeah. And then the Jets depends on if Darnold comes back for one of them. But I don't think the Jets will beat the Patriots, but I do think that the Bills will. Um, yeah, out of the out of the other three teams in that division, the Bills are definitely the better. Yeah, I, and I, I, I don't the think team. the Jets are too far behind them. Like both of them have really good defense. The Jets need their quarterback back. Yeah, Le'Veon can't do it himself. Yeah, I think the Jets need to draft a receiver this year too, yeah. or draft another like defensive or offensive line person. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I it is hard to say that, and then the and it, like if you look at the NFC East. Nobody ever wins that division back to back. Yeah, like because the teams are so even. Yeah, I guess. True. Yeah. Like the Redskins won it one year with Kirk Cousins. The next year, the Eagles win it. They win the Super Bowl. The Cowboys won it the next year and don't do shit in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, what are you looking forward to this week? Today's game. It's the only thing that I've been excited for all week. I don't care about any other game. I want to see Ravens Chiefs. I want to see a shootout. I want to see who comes out on top. I think they're both going to have great games. Yeah. Um, they both have targets to throw to. I think the Ravens have a better defense. I think the Ravens might win this game. Score. Um, 27-24. Ravens. I'm going to go uh, 31-30. Ravens. Ooh, you switched it up last second. You are saying Chiefs are going to win. I don't know how they're going to get 30 points. Two field goals. Yeah, that makes sense. Four touchdowns, one field goal. Three touchdowns. Two You're like, I gotta add a safety three. in. Uh, <laughs> I was like, shit, did I put a safety in there? Uh, no, I. I think the Ravens might win. I think Lamar is probably gonna have about seventy-five yards rushing. Actually, he, he might actually have more rushing yards this week. I don't think he uh, passing. I don't know. Yeah. Mahomes is probably gonna have three fifty though. Yeah. Especially if he doesn't have running backs, so he'll probably go over four. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah. Deuces. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.